There's just way too much to say about legendary coach, commissioner, and owner, Al Davis. Al created a culture among the Raiders that is so unique to every NFL team. Al Davis was born in Massachusetts to a Jewish family. He married his fiance, Carol, in a Brooklyn synagogue. Let's remember that Al took a stand when it came to the Raiders. He didn't allow the Raiders to play in any city where black and white players had to stay in separate hotels. He was the first NFL owner in the modern era to hire a black head coach, Art Shell. He hired the first female CEO in the NFL, Amy Trask. He hired the first Latino head coach, Tom Flores. Al is also the only executive to be an assistant coach, a head coach, a general manager, a commissioner, and an owner. At one point, Al wanted to be a basketball player, and that didn't work out so well, but he actually took academic courses in football strategy. Al Davis was inducted into the U.S. military. He started in a public relations unit near Syracuse. He really wanted to coach one of the military's football teams. In 1953, General Stanley Scott hired Al Davis to coach a military football team in Virginia. Al coached his first team to a record of 8, 2, and 1. Military football teams were no joke. There were plenty of players that went professional, and often military teams scrimmaged NFL teams. He was often coaching players of a higher rank than him. Most of Al's team was sent to Korea. While coaching in the army, Al sold scouting information to NFL teams. NFL executive Pete Rizal tried to contact Davis for information for the LA Rams, but he had no money. So Al Davis didn't give him any information. 